in Heavens to Betsy too, Betsy Simon now is writing about her experiences thus far with being in that alternate reality. We see her write this book about it, but it's faith-based, and that's something that isn't going over well, uh, specifically with her publicist. And so she now has to battle with, do I stay true to what I know, or do I conform to popular opinion? And we kind of see that, that battle and that struggle unfold. As an actor, um, you really don't want to do too much different just because what worked in the first, is, I think, is what people are, are expecting. Um, and for me, I think it's just important to remember where you're at as, as Betsy the character. That being said, you know, there, there are some differences between Betsy and I, you know, on just character, personal levels. And so I think always being true to her and always being true to how she would handle the circumstance, uh, it was just very important. And that was something that I carried over from the first to the second film. So quite a few characters do come back from Heavens to Betsy 1 that aid in the narrative of Heavens to Betsy 2. One of the key characters I think a lot of people will be wondering about is Betsy's sister, Sally. Something wrong? Everything. Except for you. Um, in Heavens to Betsy 2, I think we do a great job of tying a lot of those things together. I think there's a lot of surprises. And I think a lot of people will get a lot of closure on that storyline. Back so soon, Mrs. Bennett. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I'm back. Um, there's a lot of callbacks to the first film in the second film in regards to the relationship with Brian. Betsy has always had uh, a very comical relationship because each time she has met him in both films, the first time, she always either knows too much or doesn't know enough. Is there something wrong with what I'm wearing? Absolutely not. So why do I need to change? It's what you do. <gasps> that creates for the comedic element where she's trying to get answers from him without provoking him, without letting him know. As crazy as it sounds, I decided to track you down on the internet and see if maybe you wanted to work for me in this life because you were so good at it in the other one. Right. That's where a lot of the comedy comes into play. Be in a hurry. There is an Elvis Presley movie marathon on this afternoon, and Clambake comes on it too. Oh, Clambake. Is that a movie? Oh, it's a classic. Working with Jim was an absolute blast. Once again, he is a fabulous actor. Um, I think he even had more chances to shine a little bit in Heaven's Betsy too, with some of the comedic elements. There is a new love interest introduced, uh, played by Chris Galvin, and that is Robert. Betsy and Robert get to know each other at a networking party. Are you an author, an agent, or other? <laughs> an author. And then as the story unfolds, we see that they do have um, a deep connection. I'm a nobody right now, hoping that someday I'll be a somebody, just like Betsy Simmons did in your book. Are you sure you read it? Why? I don't know if you want to be that kind of somebody. Heavens to Betsy 1, we see a lot more of the physical comedy. In Heavens to Betsy 2, we dive a little bit deeper into that drama and Betsy's relationship with God and her faith. Pretty much denied my faith and being a Christian. Three times. Three times, huh? It was a bit like Peter. And I felt really guilty afterwards. The message of Heavens to Betsy 2, in my opinion, would be stand up for what you believe in, speak your truth, regardless of who you think might agree or disagree, and regardless of the consequences.